Hey, y'all, welcome back. Love and Marriage Huntsville back on. It's time to talk. I invite you to subscribe, hit that like button, and also share. Okay, so y'all, it opened up with Mel going to visit Tiffany after she had the baby. Honestly, it was Mel the only one who's went to visit her since she had the baby, so I don't understand what the other girls were, but they didn't participate. They didn't come see her. Whatever. However, Mel did go to check on, see how things was going, but she wanted to talk about Kiki. She wanted to talk about Kiki and what all was going on with Kiki. That right there really just bothered me because she's pressing this thing about the crime stoppers, talking about how we're going to protect our brands. No one even really sure what type of brand Tiffany even have. But that's what she wanted to talk with Mel, how we're going to protect our brand. But I like the way Mel politely put it to rest, saying, Girl, I cannot with you. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> I like the way Mel politely told her, look, if you're worried about that, just don't hang around her, whatever, and politely shut that down by saying. But she has not been arrested. Innocent until proven guilty. So now you got Courtney going to trying to check Marceau because of something Stormy done said. You know, Stormy is a dangerous woman if she going to send her husband over there in this type of situation. How you trying to get her to check another man based off of something you said? But whatever. Courtney went over there to check Marceau, and that's fine or whatever. But things could have went horribly wrong had there been a street dude. I'm glad that Courtney wasn't an angry guy, nor was Marceau. They just had their conversation. He tried to check Marceau. And it seemed like Marceau tried to check Courtney, too, about him selling hair care products and want him to stay out of women's business. But I'm going to let y'all tell me what y'all think about that. But um, I like the way he told him, you need to stay out of women's business. And he really do. He need to stay out of women's business, period and point blank. But now, to wrap it up, why Courtney trying to flex by giving the waitress a $100 tip? Really? That's what you do? <laughs> Man, you crazy. It's the guy that hey, hold, hold, sells hair products for a living. That hundred dollars about women business? No, no, but that hundred dollars, he, he give you a tip for a hundred dollars for a while. That's a million dollars. The guy don't worry about a hundred dollars. Then you have Tisha and Kimmy meeting up. They talking about everything that's going on with Kiki on Crime Stoppers. I just don't know how to feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Because they had a lot to say about Kiki. They even had a lot to say about Stormy regarding the Black Business Expo that Stormy helped them out with. I just don't think any of that was cool. You get what I'm saying? Stormy did help them out, whether they want to acknowledge it or not. Yeah, maybe she took up eight sections, as Marceau said, but she came through when you needed somebody to come through. And this is what y'all do? Now you got Martell and Chris Fletcher. You know, Chris Fletcher and them, they tried to be friends to him, but Martell wanted them to side either with him or Melody, and they clearly weren't doing that. And he told them they weren't doing that. However, they were subpoenaed in court for that same exact reason. They weren't cool with that, and Mr. Fletcher let that be known. I'm glad he did. But you know what? It's one of them things that, now that Martell is in one of the Fletcher houses, which he is now selling, and Martell got to move. Martell don't know how to react to that. He used to people bending to his will. He used to using people for the purpose he want to use them. And it looked like Chris ain't going for that. And Chris even acknowledged that. So you know what Chris did? Gave him two weeks to move out and period. Martell is taking advantage of the friendship um by continuously staying in this house i think he's looking for me to uh give him special treatment allow him to continue to stay just because he's martell who's party okay so now you got kimmy and maurice the same old argument that's been going on since the beginning of time maurice still begging for sex think he's supposed to get it every hour on the hour hell who knows but she's trying to talk to him about some other things regarding kiki what's in the news they talking about stormy what was going on at that black business expo and how ain't nobody paid and he's feeling some type of way saying that if while i paid and nobody else didn't pay but you know 
Kim is clearly trying to explain to him what is going on and what is all the fuss about. However, he's really not getting it in my opinion, but I like the way he summed it up. T.J. Marshall been pretty coy about the money. You know what I mean? I feel the way why our spot was so small. If I paid the same amount as Stormy, I should have had the same size as Canvas. Okay, so now we move into Stormy and Courtney. They're in the warehouse packing up stuff, and Storm is smiling because she knows she sent Courtney over there to check Mars. So that really bothered me because she really was feeling herself with that. But I'm wondering, why is she taking the labels off of this stuff and relabeling them? I'm just curious about that. And I also got another question. Like, where's the staff? Why is it just you and Courtney? You know, you got people who say they ain't got their products. Why you don't have people in the warehouse working? I'm just curious. If y'all know something, y'all tell me. I want to know what's going on. And you know they had to bring back up that $100. I feel like Marceau think he can just come in and just talk to women how he want to. That's the typical Marceau. Just some lame you can do. When I went out to eat with Tiffany and Kimmy... Mm -hmm. Taking off flavors. Why? And they started charging people because they had got over ten thousand dollars. Like the event was gonna cost that, and they figured if they were spending that much and people were gonna make money from the event, mm -hmm. then why not charge them? All right. And to wrap things up, Mel did go visit Kiki, and she took her a gift. That was a good thing. That's what real friends do. Go check on somebody instead of just taking what all the public or social media have to say, especially when you know them intimately. But to let her know what is being said about her on social media and within the group. And I can appreciate that. Mel often took us some words of encouragement. And what I can really appreciate with Mel is while Tiffany was trying to bash Kiki, she didn't entertain any of it. But instead, she went to let Kiki know what's all being said. So, therefore, Kiki can govern herself accordingly. I really appreciate that factor in Mel. So, it's just one of those things. I can appreciate her doing what friends you know, do. a lot of people been talking and sending me videos about Crime Stoppers. Mm -hmm. And they want to know what's Tiffany brought it up. I met with her, um, went back to see the baby the other day, and she kind of was just like, you know, I know you talk a lot about not wanting certain people around you or deal with certain things based on your brand and being protective of your brand. Is this good for all of our brands? Accused or convicted? Accused. 